the domain of G. This is our starting domain. The domain of the composition is a subset of this domain. We start with the domain of G because this is the function first input when forming the composition. G is inside. So its domain is the beginning domain. If we follow the composition, we start with an element that is in both the domain of G and the domain of the composition. G will take this element to its range. In order for the composition to continue, this element must also be in the domain of F. That is, G must take this element to the intersection of its range and the domain of the function called F. Because now F needs to take this element to its range. This element must arrive in the range of the composition F composed with G, which is a subset of the range of F. So the composition takes this element all the way from the domain of G to the range of F. The domain of G and the domain of the composition might be the same. The domain of the composition, however, could have less elements or be a proper subset of the domain of G. You cannot get more than you start with. Likewise, the range of the composition is a subset of the range of F.